Hi there, my name is Tim and my username is Snoozon and I'm the crew leader of the GDA Fly Crew. Um, now let me uh, get just a quick shot of me sitting here in front of my uh, television screen. <laughs> Hello guys. Um, and welcome to um, our crew's video tutorial for aspiring GDA pilots. Now, as for introductions, I'm a big Microsoft Flight Simulator fan. And I've used Grand Theft Auto V as my casual flight simulator uh, for some time now. Uh, only recently I created a crew at Rockstar Social Club for players who, like me, uh, are not that interested in mindlessly killing every player they see online, uh, but rather like to use GTA's beautiful, dynamic, virtual online world to do casual and realistic flying, uh, together with other same-minded players. So, if you're as interested in using GTA 5 as your flight simulator like me, and you like to fly with other serious GTA pilots online too, then please visit our crew website at gdaflightcrew.com uh, for more information about our crew, how to join us, and also to learn more about our flight regulations and the non-towered ADC protocol that we use to communicate in-game, like real pilots, uh, using the in-game chat function. Uh, we fly in closed uh, online crew sessions and only allow friendly and, and genuinely interested players to join our crew. Uh, we've even created our own airspace chart, uh, an airplane checklist that we use to make our flights more fun and realistic. And both that chart and checklist are free for download for non-crew members too, by the way. So if you're curious, do check us out to get your hands on those free downloads. Now, anyway, that's for introductions. Um, this is me. And uh, standing at Los Santos International Airport, standing near my beautiful Vellum. Um, and in this particular training video, we will do a typical flight uh, departing from Los Santos International Airport to McKenzie Airfield, while I'll keep in check with our crew's flight regulations and use our ATC protocol. Um, so, in other words, in this tutorial I will demonstrate how to use GTA 5 to get a more realistic flying experience. And so this will be a more lengthy, slow pace um, and hopefully informative video. Now, because I'm currently in a closed online crew session with no one here except for me, um, we uh, won't be interrupted by others. On the other hand though, this also means that this flight, this particular flight, does not give you a, a, a real impression of the dynamics of flying with five or 10 or up to 16 fellow crew pilots at the same time. Uh, flying cross country from airfield to airfield um, using our ATC protocol. So well, anyway, I will get that covered in a future video. For the time being, let's get flying. Ooh, it's getting a little bit foggy out there. Now, as you already know, we're currently at Los Santos International Airport in Hangar 1, to be precise. Uh, and that brings me right to my first point, uh, because in front of me in real life, I have a printed version of our crew's uh, airplane checklist. Here it is, with a smaller version of our airspace chart on the, on the back side, very handy. Um, and I will uh, use this checklist to guide me through this particular flight, as I would for most of my GDA flights. Uh, we recommend all pilots to make use of this checklist. Um, and as you have seen on its backside, it has a smaller version of our airspace chart um, that will come in handy when I need to refer to certain waypoints, um, runways, or airspaces. So if you're watching this video at our GTA Flight Crew website and are interested in adopting our flight procedures in preparation of your own online GTA flights with us, um, then please consider downloading our airplane checklist uh, at gtaflightcrew.com right away so you can follow me along uh, when I refer to this checklist while we start flying in a few moments. Um, yes? All right. Well, that said, let's get to the checklist then and start with our pre-flight checks. Okay, first one, device flight plan. So, as I already mentioned, um, I planned my flight from Los Santos International Airport to McKenzie Airfield. Um, however, um, we can get there in many different ways, naturally. So, let's be more precise about it. Um, let's get to our aviation chart on the backside of the checklist and have a look at Los Santos International Airport at the bottom of the chart. Now, um, we will depart from runway 1 to left, um, then continuing to the east to Waypoint Terminal, uh, on the right side there. Uh, we then turn left to go um, up north uh, and head to Murrieta, 
uh, waypoint, then continuing to waypoint mirror, uh, Fuente, uh, and then direct to stab. So we leave the airway, which is fine, and uh, we're crossing the uh, airspace of Sandy Shores Airfield. And we then turn right to Calafia for approach on runway 06 at Mackenzie Airfield. So a nice scenic flight if the weather allows it. Um, now, if you're, um, you can see that you're free to fly any route you like as part of our crew, so you don't need to stick to uh, our airways or even participate in our ATC protocol if you feel uncomfortable doing so, as long as you keep from being a bad pilot, as we call it, by flying inappropriately, disturbing other pilots, the obvious wrongdoings. However, as soon as you enter another airspace, though, um, we do require pilots to ensure for safe aircraft separation and make use of our airfield-specific traffic patterns for landing, quite similar to real aviation. Now, this is all described in detail at our website. Um. All right, next up, verified current weather conditions are safe for flying. Well, let's see. Oh, great, and the weather is improving. It's still a little bit foggy, but well, weather looks fine. Now, depending on your personal flying skills in GDA, um, pretty much any weather condition is, is safe for flying. If you feel challenged though, uh, try landing on Mackenzie Airfield in heavy thunderstorm conditions. Um, okay, verified your airplane's exterior is safe and cleared for flying. So let's have a look at our beautiful vellum. Um, well, we're searching for any irregularities that suggest that the airplane was damaged uh, by either yourself or some other player during your online session. And if so, uh, to consider getting a new plane because airplane damage will affect your aerodynamics during flight in GDA. So what we're going to do is just circle around the aircraft while inspecting the fuselage, like the wings, the wheels, just to see if we find anything strange or that is out of place. Looks fine, the tail looks fine too, the elevators, rudder, more distant view, the back side of the airplane looks fine as well, other side of the aircraft, great too, the wings, the engine is awesome as always, cool, so it seems like our vellum is in great shape. Next up, verified parachutes uh, are on board. Well, that's checked. I've already verified that. It would be unlucky, though, if we would need to make an emergency landing and use our parachutes in this first tutorial. But I guess we'll be just fine. All right, enter cockpit, get seated comfortably, and verify that engine is started. My favorite item on this pre-flight checklist. Okay, here we go. Let's get in. Okay, engine is started. Cool. Ensured, headset is on, connected, and mic is muted. Now, headset is on, connected to my Xbox, and mic is muted. Uh, we require pilots to unmute and mute their mics every time they transmit their ADC announcements, uh, just to prevent unrelated noise from being transmitted on the everyone frequency. Talking about that, um, tuned radio to everyone frequency. Well, let's do that. Holding down the select button, scrolling down. Now, as you can see, it's already set to everyone. Um, in in close crew sessions, uh, this will be our made-up radio frequency, um, where we require active pilots to announce their progressing flights using our basic ATC script. Um, however, if you feel uncomfortable to participate in ATC, you're always free to just tune into this frequency and keep from doing any announcements um, and just fly online with us as any regular pilot. So, just saying. Verified ailerons, elevator and rudder are working. Okay, important one. So let's have a look at our left wing. It's looking fine. Right wing. Great as well. well. For the elevators, we need to look a little bit more closely, but you can see some parts moving there. And our rudder looks fine as well. Check. Um, and lastly, verified big lights are working. Now, we will use these lights only during takeoff and landing, and, and these will help other pilots close to us to spot us in time uh, and communicate that we are intending to either take off or land at the airfield. Um, so that's important. So let's have a look. Um, I 
can see I'm just I'm looking in front of me on the ground and I can see the lights very dimly turn off and on so that's a good thing they are working um, and that completes our pre-flight checks and that means that looking at our checklist that we are ready for taxi and do our first radio announcement so let's do that Los Santos Tower, Vellum snooze on at hangar 1, taxiing to runway 1 to left for departure. Now, there's no need to wait for a response, obviously. As a pilot, you are responsible to not bump into other aircraft during your flight. So these radio announcements only help other pilots to anticipate your flight activity, like real pilots would do when uh, flying VFR, visual flight rules. All right then, um, let's get taxiing. Um, very slowly. Oh, the weather's improving. Great, guys. So here we are. Turning slowly and gently to the left. Onto the yellow taxi lane. Uh, taxi line. Need to go to the right here. Now, taxiing is all about slow... Uh, slow turning, controlled... And, and not, not driving your airplane as a car as you would do in, in GDA really as a plane. So gentle, controlled, and not too fast at all. Uh, 737, cool. So it's just nice and easy. Well, we're coming up to the beginning of the runway. To test our brakes just to make sure that those are working. Oh, braking great. All right, now we need to hold short um, at the runway and not turn onto it yet because other pilots might use the runway for landing or for takeoff. So we need to be cautious here. Just hold short at the threshold, which is this yellow dashed line at runway one to left. So here we are. Now, it's our responsibility to check and verify that the runway is clear. So we look to the left in this case, uh, no airplanes there, no airplanes in arrival either. Now, obviously, we can cheat by just using our map, use our extended map to see if there are any players around. Uh, there are none. So we are clear for takeoff. So that means that we can announce that we're going to take off. So let's do that right away. Los Santos Tower, Vellum snooze on holding short at runway 1 to left, taking off for departure to terminal. Okay, well, we need to turn on our big lights right now. And again, very gently and smoothly turn onto the runway, align our aircraft. So we don't need to make very big corrections once we do full throttle. And here we go, guys, taking off. Now, once we reach top speed, we gently go up into the air, gear up, keep our big lights on until we leave the airspace. Just straight out, no fancy stuff. And still full throttle. Some turbulence here. I can already see the terminal waypoint already located there on the left side. We're still going straight on just to get to cruise altitude using cruise speed. Almost there, like so. So leveling off, cruise speed, and make a left turn to terminal and turn off our big lights. Uh, Los Santos Tower of Vellum snooze on leaving the airspace. All right, well, that's it. That's our takeoff. So now we continue on our flight. We can use the map to see whether we're going to the right direction but it's good practice to prepare your flight plan in advance and make sure that you can associate your waypoints with visual cues cues like real VFR flying so in this case is the corner here and I will go now to the left to Marietta we don't need to make any announcements now we are free roaming so I know where Marietta is uh, located I can just see it uh, on the ground so I can align my aircraft to use it to navigate to and you can fly on any altitude you like, by the way. So this is medium flight. We make a distinction between low flight, medium flight, and high altitude flight. Um, because we don't have an altimeter in the GDA game. Okay, 
that's Marietta. Let's go to Mira Park, and I can really see it located over there. Beautiful park, by the way, to visit. Let's keep on altitude. Okay. Great weather, awesome. Makes flying a lot more fun. Although I must say that landing in, in thunderstorm conditions and rainy conditions is also quite challenging and cool. But perhaps that's just me. Okay, that's Mirror Park. Let's turn to Fuente, which is on the right side a bit. And once we're at Fuente, we're going to turn left to Stab. And then we will cross Sandy Airfield, Sandy Shores Airfield. And we must announce that we're crossing that airspace because probably other pilots will be landing or taking off there. And so they need to know that we are crossing it. Fine wood. Our left wing is getting a little bit more dirty. Cool. Okay, that's Fuente. Let's turn left to Stab, Stab City, and I can already see it located in the distance at the lake. Okay. Sandy Shores Tower, Vellum Snooze, near Vinewood, crossing the airspace to Stab. Now, if we look closely, we can see Sandy Shores Airfield already lying on our right side. Nice airfield in the desert. Now, anticipating my arrival at Mackenzie in the distance, I'm already descending a bit. Sandy Shores Tower of Elm Snooze on leaving the airspace. Okay, preparing my turn to the right to Calafia. And then we're entering Mackenzie uh, airspace, so we need to announce that too. Let's make a right turn. Mackenzie Tower, Vellum Snooze on near Calafia, entering the airspace for landing on runway 06. That's the runway in front of us, you can see it already. So we turn on our big lights because we're in Mackenzie's airspace again. Mackenzie Tower, Vellum Snooze on final approach for full stop landing on runway 06. Gear down. A little bit slower, a little bit lower. Oh, I love Mackenzie Airfield. It's my favorite airport. Look at this. Beautiful scene. Some turbulence here. Beautiful. Okay. Mackenzie Tower, Vellum Snooze on left the runway, taxiing to Hangar 1 for parking. So turn off our big lights. Let's park it into the hangar. A little bit more. So, okay, let's get our checklist. Turn off big lights, checked. Uh, park airplane, uh, leave cockpit and verify engine is shut down. Okay, and verified mic is on mute, which it is. So, welcome guys to Mackenzie Airfield. Great weather, great flight. Um, so, I hope you enjoy this video tutorial and um, learn more about our flight regulations, our flight procedures, uh, ADC protocol. And if you like this kind of realistic flying in GDA5, then please visit uh, us at gdaflightcrew.com and join our crew to fly with us online and help us to expand on this shared and fun, realistic flying experience in the GDA universe. So thank you for watching um, and hopefully uh, I will see you again at one of our other videos on our video channel. Bye guys.